Hello everybody, this is KN4DQE. I'm going to show you how to get your THD74 radio working with Winlink today via Bluetooth. Um, I know that there's been uh, a few people that were successful in doing this. Um, I've seen some messages on the message boards, various different message boards that show how to do this. Uh, but I, I figured it would be good to make a video to help everybody understand how to do it and make sure it works because I had a very challenging time getting it to work correctly um, and uh, there's various different settings that you have to select and make sure it works. Um, specifically the first thing you need to do is make sure that your radio is connected to your computer via Bluetooth. And the Kenwood THD74 is a little finicky when it comes to Bluetooth I found. Uh, specifically in this case you need to connect the laptop to the radio. You cannot try to connect the radio to the laptop. It won't work going that way. You have to initiate a pairing session from the laptop to the radio. Um, so, you know, to do so, you'd go down to the bottom right down here, click the little Bluetooth icon, um, and open up settings. We're going to go ahead and open up the Bluetooth settings. And to add a, a radio, add the radio, you have to click Add Bluetooth or other device listed here. And then what you'll do is um, ensure that the pairing mode is turned on on the Bluetooth and the radio. Um, and once you do that, you'll see at the bottom down here, my radio is paired with my computer already. It's already set up. Now, in the case here, what you need to specify is you need to find out what COM port the computer is, is using for the radio. So if you scroll up to the right here and click More Bluetooth Options, it's going to pop up a box that has the Bluetooth settings here, and you're going to click the COM ports tab in the middle. In this case here, uh, the COM port number you have to make uh, well aware of that we're looking at here is COM port 9. It's listed as outgoing THD74 serial port. That's the one we're going to look for is THD74 serial port. That's the one that's your outgoing COM port that you have to set up for in your WinLink software. So I'm going to go ahead and close all of this. And we're going to go to my WinLink software. And this assumes you already have WinLink set up correctly. Um, in the case here, uh, you're going to click settings to go into the settings feature of the software, but I'm not going to do that in the case of this video because again, there's all kinds of personal information in there, and we don't want to we don't want to do that for this specific case here. But uh, just make sure you have an account that it's all set up and specified there. Uh, in the case here, what I'm going to do is go ahead and create a test message. So I'm going to click message, new message. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in my email address here uh, that I'm sending my emails to. Test message. This is a test message to the WinLink server and go ahead and click on post to Outbox uh, when I do that as you can see over here it's in my Outbox waiting to be sent I have to connect up to the server for it to work and initiate the session so the first thing you want to do to do that is on the little drop down over here go ahead and click on the drop down and select packet WinLink that's what we're going to use in this case here once you have packet WinLink selected Go ahead and click on open session and it goes and opens a window here with the specific session for this radio. Now what I need to do is I have to go into the settings the first time I configure this. So I'm going to click settings and make sure all of this is filled out correctly the first time you go through here. So for the THD74 we're going to select KISS as the packet TNC type. Make sure that TNC model listed is normal. Uh, the serial port that you saw in the Bluetooth settings, this is where you need to select that correct serial port. In this case, it was COM9. Um, and then also, the serial port baud rate is 9600 baud. Uh, down below is where you specify the TH TNC settings. Excuse me. Um, TNC, in this case, we're going to set as 1200 baud because there's not very many 9600 baud servers. Nearby, there's only one, and it's about 60 miles away. Um, which I can't reach on 5 watts with my radio. So we're going to go ahead with the 1200 baud settings. I left all of these as default and also checked enable iPull at the bottom down here. Um, once you have all of this data uh, updated, click on update and it's going to go refresh the session here. The next thing that you want to do is click on the channel selection button right here. And, and you can see here I've already gotten the list of channels that are listed here, but update table via internet is what you want to click. Click this here and it's going to go ahead and refresh the listing of local channels here that are nearby from WinLink server side. 
um, and their distance from your location that you entered in your settings at the beginning. In this case here, you can see there's only one 9600 baud server here, uh, but he's about 65 miles away, and there's no way that I can connect up to that with my radio. If I had an amplifier, there's a possibility, but um, I'm not even going to try here in this case. So in the first line item here shows 10 miles away, uh, and the frequency that's listed is 145.070. I'm going to go ahead and double click on that, and of course it says right here there's a note, attention, set the packet radio frequency to 145.070 megahertz. Uh, so I have to go onto my radio and enter VFO mode and type in 145.070. Uh, and I'm doing this in my A band for my radio specifically. Now I don't know if it works in the B band as well, but um, a band is where I've been using it. It's been working fine. You can play around with it and try it out in B band. Your mileage may vary. Um, one thing that you definitely need to do before you click start right up here is go into your radio after you've entered your frequency and turn on KISS 12. Now, one thing to note is every time you close this packet wind link session box, KISS 12 turns off from the radio. So it will not work if KISS 12 is not uh, listed on your radio if not enabled for the TNC. I just jumped to the radio here for a moment to make sure that all the settings in the radio are, are set correctly for uh, the Winlink session to initiate with the radio. So first thing we want to make sure that we do is we have our, our frequency set correctly here. In this case 145.070 which is what the Winlink software was telling us that we needed to use. Um, we also have to have the KISS terminal turned on, which you can see in this case here. Uh, KISS 12 is listed up here on the A band. That's what we want. Um, let's go into the menu setting here. Uh, go ahead and double check under APRS, uh, under basic settings, um, that we have 1200 baud selected for data speed and that we have data band A selected here as well. Um, that's what we want for, for both of those. Now I know it's kind of counterintuitive. Um, but this also, these settings also apply to the KISS terminal as well, which is why you have to go in here and make sure that your APR settings are set up correctly. Um, once we do that, we're going to check one last thing under the configuration menu. We're going to go into configuration and scroll down to interface, which is at the very bottom here, interface. Make sure that you have PC output uh, for GPS, APRS, and KISS all set to Bluetooth. You don't necessarily have to have the first two set to Bluetooth, but I just like to leave them all the same. It just makes it easier. I don't really use the USB interface on here too much. It's a very good feature to have, but changing them all to Bluetooth is definitely going to make sure everything works correctly. Um, and then once once you're done with that, just back out in the main menu here. Again, make sure KISS 12 is showing up up here, and you're good to go. So we'll jump back into the video now, and we'll go ahead and initiate the Windlink session. So once you've done that, go ahead and click Start. And it's going to go ahead and open a connection with the radio via Bluetooth and connect up to the Winlink server. Uh, in this case, I've got a test message in my outbox that I'm going to go ahead and um, send a note. And you can see here, it's going to show ahead and send it here in just a second. It's sending the email right now. Now, again, it's 1200 baud, so you know don't expect to, to be burning up any... Uh, any fires here with how fast this thing goes, um, which is why it's also important not to be sending big, large amounts of data over this uh, interface, otherwise it'll take forever. Uh, so you can see in this case here, it just disconnected, and this just turned gray, meaning it's done. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I'd like to hear from everybody. Um, hopefully some someone out there found value in this video, um, and uh, I hope you have a great day.